Hey everyone, now before we get started I just wanted to say thank you for your patience. Due to a lot of twists and turns in my life, I didn't upload any videos for the past 4 months. But I just want you to know that I love all of you as much as you love my tutorials. I'm super happy because of all the support that you people gave is so unreal, and I can't express it in words. Now let's jump into the tutorial. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create brushing transition effect in Premiere Pro. This is kind of beginner and at the same time intermediate level tutorial so please enjoy it. Now then let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks awesome. Before starting this tutorial hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Let's start. Create a new project. I will name it as brush transition tutorial, click OK. Now I will drag our stock videos onto our project panel like this. Before we drag in our video onto our timeline, I just want you to know that if you drag any video onto the timeline, a new sequence will be created based on the video properties. If I were to drag this video onto our timeline then the new sequence will be created based of the resolution and frame rate of that video. Let's go to the properties of this video. As you can see that this video is 1920 by 1080 in size and 29 frames per second, so our timeline sequence will be created on that properties. If you want your own custom sequence you can create it by going to file, new and select sequence and choose the preset you want or create your own. For now I will use this video to create the sequence, drag it to the timeline to create new sequence. Now we have our first video, we will drag the rest of the video to our sequence timeline like this. We imported all the video that we wanted onto our sequence. And now we will drag the transition stock videos to our timeline like this. Don't worry I will put the download link in the description for you to download. You just hit that subscribe button and bell icon that's all I need. In the project panel we will create a folder for our stock video by clicking this folder icon. I will name it as stock. Select the videos by shift clicking and drag it into our stock folder. This will make it look more organized. I will change our sequence title by clicking on our title like this, I will name it as brush transition. Now we will drag and drop our first transition stock on top of our first video like this. If I play it. You can see the brush transition effect, now let's use this transition onto our videos. Go to effects panel and type in track mat. Take the track mat key effect under keying, and place it onto our first video layer. Now go to effects control panel, go to track mat and change the composite using from mat alpha to mat luma, then change the mat. This video 2 and video 3 are nothing other than this video tracks V1 and V2. Since our transition is in video 2 track, we will select the video 2. Now let's play it and see the magic. There, 
we now made the brush transition effect. But if I play it further, as you can see there's nothing is showing because since we changed the map to Luma, our video will be only visible on the white color transition video which is on top of our stock video. To fix that press C on your keyboard to bring the razor tool and cut the video where our transition is ended. Select this clip and go to effects control panel. In the track mat key if I check on the reverse box, there we now have our video became visible, or you can just disable the track mat if I play it again. Now that looks good. We will now place our second video on top of our first video and bring in the second brush transition video on top of the second video. Go to where our transition starts then cut and delete the unwanted part. Drag it like this if I play it. Now we have our transition placed. Let's create the effect. Go to effects panel and drag the track mat key onto our second video. Go to effects control panel and change the mat alpha to mat luma. Since our transition video is in the third video track, we will select the video 3. Let's play it. That looks good but as we saw before. The same problem occurs. Press C on your keyboard to bring the razor tool and cut the video where our transition ends. If you don't want the audio to be cut along with video, just right click on the video and select unlink. Select this clip and disable the track mat. We have our full video. Let's play it again. That looks perfect. We will do the same process for our third video transition. Place the video on top and drop the transition video at the beginning. Cut the unwanted part and place the video and transition like this. Drop the track mat and change it to Luma then select video 4. Cut the video where transition track ends and disable the track mat. Let's do the same to the rest of the video. This time drag the previously used transition and rotate it a little and increase its size to make it look more different. Add the track mat and change it to Luma then select video 5. Cut the video and disable the track. Let's play it. That looks super good. Let's finish the final video. Do the same process like we did before. Cut the unwanted part of the transition and this time we will increase the transition speed a little. Right click on the transition video and select speed duration then change it to 150. We will cut the video first and then we will add the track mat. Change it to Luma and Video 6. That looks good. Now let's play it from the start.
that looks awesome. We finally at the end of our tutorial. Everyone please support me, because your support is what gives me the motivation. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help you. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.